everybody, I have a tip of the day for you guys, something that I always utilize and that I find extremely important and I have noticed that it makes a really, really big difference in my workouts as well as my results. And that tip is wearing workout clothes that allow you to truly see your body. Stay with me that allow you to see the form of your body, your body parts, your muscles, what your body does as you move through exercise. You are cutting yourself so short if you work out in big baggy clothes that don't allow you to truly tap into everything that your body is doing and what it looks like. It makes such a huge difference in the realm of making that mind to muscle connection when you are doing something as simple as a squat. Being able to look down and visualize those muscles strengthening underneath your skin and that particular area of your body taking on a different look and power and dynamic as you move through that exercise it makes it three times as beneficial. You're able to tap in and make that connection so much stronger than if you did not have that visual. It's kind of like an artist that is trying to paint some gorgeous masterpiece with a blindfold on and he's just like, well, let's see how this is going. Hope this, this works out for me. No, it doesn't make any sense because he loses that hand-eye coordination and connecting the two as far as what he's trying to accomplish and the same thing happens in exercise if you can't visualize your body which is what you're working and what you're trying to change it's kind of like blindly painting you're just hoping for the best and not making that mind muscle connection in the same sense that a, a painter or an artist makes the hand and eye coordination and connection so I see people in the gym and I understand why oftentimes they're wearing big baggy clothes and they just don't have that level of confidence and when they catch glimpses of themselves they get really discouraged. But the fact of the matter is you need to be taking the opposite approach. The body, whether it be the leg, that stomach, that arm, that back of the arm, that area that you're not liking and that you're allowing to let yourself feel down or disappointed, that is the body part that is going to get you to the body part that you do want that's healthier and fitter and stronger and more toned. That's the avenue to getting you there. So you have to learn to appreciate what you have right now because that body part is going to get you to a new body part, a stronger body part. Learn to value what you have right now. There's value in everything learn to find it, achieve it, and it makes your workouts completely different. You don't have very much motivation to work out really hard with something that you don't appreciate or value as it is. And okay, I can kind of see how some people don't necessarily want to break it down into some little bitty boy shorts and a little bitty tiny tank top, but at least put yourself in really, really form-fitting clothes where you can still see your body working, you can still see your body changing, you can still see, if you're looking in a mirror doing, say, some arm exercises, you can see and tell the difference if you're engaging your core or not. I can tell through any kind of piece of clothing that doesn't have to be skin tight but it's close enough to the body, I can tell when my client is either holding their core strong or they're not. And that's usually when I'll give them the cue, hold your core in strong. You have to be able to make those connections. And that's one reason why I recommend doing a home workout periodically, say once a week. Uh, it actually kind of ties into the follow-up video to this one that I'm going to be doing, which is going to be a 100% no excuses, full body home workout that requires no equipment. Anybody can do it. It's fantastic for those days where you're coming up with 50 million different reasons why it's not a good idea to work out and why there are better things to do. No excuses. Those kind of home workouts also give you the opportunity to wear clothes that maybe you don't feel confident enough to wear at the gym. 
much smaller clothes, clothes that allow you to see your skin and see how working those muscles underneath your skin changes the dynamic of that body part. And constantly also tapping into what you're wanting that body part to look like. So if you're still a little bit too self-conscious to really break out the little tiny fitness bikini competition outfit in a place like a gym, which is understandable, you have the chance to do this at home where you can really just look at your body and also take note of every single tiny change that you see because those little bitty tiny changes oh seeing a little bit more of a muscle right there seeing a little bit of a smoother body line as opposed to the last time you did that exercise those are the kind of tangible um, aspects and and things to take note of that drive motivation better than anything else promise so I've got the full body workout coming up for you guys and I want you to try to take this and use it. Put yourself in clothes that allow you to see your body a little bit better. Don't be scared of mirrors. Focus in on body parts. Focus in on what you want them to look like, how you want them to change, and focus on that strength and value that's already there as is. You guys have an awesome blessed day and I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.